Hi everyone, Kid Fazy here, and here's my review of Bartleby, directed by Jonathan Parker, starring David Paymer, Crispin Glover, Lenin Headley, uh, Maury Chaykin, Joe Piscopo, <laughs> Seymour Cassell, oh yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, Carrie Snide Grease. Dick Martin, Ken Marconi, um, oh yeah, Greta Danielle, <laughs> uh, Ingrin, yes, yes, Gopo. I'm sorry, I'm stalk I'm sorry, um Stalker Okay, um Josh Okay, I'm Josh Cornfun Uh yeah Um Oh yeah, Stogger Evergen. Yeah, great cast, really is. So. Oh yeah, and this film is about a um, a uh, a uh, owner of a public records office. Well, um, he's the boss of it, and you know they deal with you know the public records for all their clients, make sure they have everything. And of course, the biggest line is um the city, the mayor, the city, and everything. And you know they could use a few more employees. Maybe uh, now that they since they have you know this big account with the city employees, so like, let's put it in the play in the paper. And at first, so I saw like, this great ad, you know how it's dynamic and how it's great and everything. But on the receptionist and maybe it's like, and then also the, there's two other employees too, Ernie and Rocky. Like, eh, it's not really quite all the opposite. So. Yeah, okay, so why don't you write it? And so the next day, the boss comes in, and, and I know he has to pay for it. He's like, this is too, you know, this is too, you know, um, true, though. Like, he had low rage, low bad. <laughs> like, I was like, why? Like, who's going to answer this ad? And so one person comes, you know, this um this man who's very quiet. You know, a little strange thing is Bartleby. <laughs> and so um, the boss interviews him. You know, and you know, so like, and Josh reporting his job as a, um, as a, working in a dead notes, like, um, note, uh, a dead note, uh, like, dead note receiver, or, like, you know, like, um, like, if you're saying notes to someone, and, like, um, like, if someone's saying a note dies, or if you're a note dies, like, how they retrieve the notes of his previous job, so, like, you want to give more information? He says, I prefer not to. But, but you know, he was his rest nice. Like, he's like a good worker. So um, he gets the job. Like you said, first he's doing a great job. But then the boss asks him you know, to look over um, some more papers. And Bobby says, I prefer not to. And while this is going on, we also see um, Rocky. He, um, all these work camps, the ladies come over. And Ernie... You know, he's just getting through, you know, this thing's going on, you know, but it, well, you don't really see it, but you, you can tell there's things going on, and he's just getting through, you know, he's, he's a good person, he's getting through everything, and Vivian, she, you know, makes sure everything at the desk, I'm just you when, um, this, uh, important client comes in, but works with the city, oh, yeah, and then, uh, Mr. Ratsman, yeah, Frank Ratsman comes in, you know, and uh, they want to press him, but Barbie, yeah, he refuses like quite a few things and doesn't speak much. And a lot of times I prefer, I prefer not to, I prefer not to say that. And the boss is one like, why? Especially the boss, like, why won't you do anything? You know, and it escalates more and more. And like, and there's this, oh yeah, there's this air vent right above his office right there that makes this sound. Then later they find out what the sound was. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to spell it, but they find out what it is and get it out. But he still stares at it, like, boss, like, why, you know? And he's not doing a lot of work anymore, so the boss 
fires him but uh, Barley's still there and everything. The boss gave him a check and everything. And they moved uh, they moved an office too and everything. But once they moved the office, Barley would be left. He was out on the street. And I was like, don't want you to be out on the street, you know. And it's really this escalation. I like how Barley affects mainly the boss, but affects his office and everyone. You know, like, why is he doing this? And the boss is doing his best, you know, to find out why. And everyone else, like, is just trying to get their jobs done. And, like, what's going on with Barley? Why is he doing this, you know? And, you know, mainly the boss tries out what's going on with Barley. And everyone else is just like, this is just weird. Like, they just want to get their jobs. They just want to have their jobs, you know. And it was really well done. It was really interesting. Because at first, it just seemed like a regular film about office, you know, and everybody. But as soon as Bartleby starts, you know, refusing things and starts, he does, like, just, like, little motions and things. You see, like, how it, how it escalates. Like, why aren't you doing your work? And it was really interesting how they did it. I would have liked to see a little bit more of the escalation. Of like, why is the barber being inside? How it affects mainly the boss, but everyone else, too. Like, come on, you need to do your work, you know, and everything. A little bit more of just, like, the subtleties of, like, how he's just doing certain things, how it affects everyone. But it was really well done, though. And how it affects, you know, all the accounts they have, especially with the city and everything. It's so important. But um, it was really well done. Because they do touch on that. I felt like... A little bit more, but it, they do a great job either way. That's one star wonderful. Really enjoyed it. Oh yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and these videos, let's continue.